Okay, now it's time to get started with the creation of the site. Uh, but one of the first things that we want to do is we want to create menus. The menus are going to be very, very basic. Now, key thing to note is that whenever you're creating a website, you want things to be as easy as possible for people to find what they're looking for. I've, you know, visited several websites that, you know, you have to figure out, you know, where things are located. So what we want to do is we're going to create uh, different menus. So we're going to create one for the home, the about, the room, the gallery, the blog, and the contact us. So those are the core things that people are going to be looking for when they come on your site. They want to see what type of rooms that you have available. They want to read about your blog. They want to see some pictures, which is the gallery of what the hotel, the motel, the apartments, whatever it is that you are uh, want people to reserve or rent. Um, you know, they can be able to utilize that to get a really good feel for it. So you want to make sure that it's something as as very well put together. You just don't want to throw just a bunch of stuff. Which leads to another point is, I definitely recommend that you know that. You, you know, if you don't have a professional camera, then you want to, you know, hire a photographer, you know, have them come in and take some really high quality pictures of your, uh, your hotel. Because if you put some crappy pictures on there, guess what? When people look, when people are looking at it, they won't want to come. You can have the most beautiful hotel in the world, but if you cannot capture that beauty and put it for people to see, then they won't be interested in coming. So it's very important to make sure that you know, even if you don't have, even if you don't hire a, a professional photographer, you know, the the phones, the cameras today, even from your cell phone that has some really high quality images that you want to make sure that you get at different angles. You get something closed, you want to make sure that the bed is made up nicely, you know, that the floors are clean. You don't want to take a picture, you know, of, you know, just garbage all over and then, you know, forget and then put it online. When people are looking at that, that's going to scare them. They will want to come to your, you know, your hotel. So those are just some little things for you to remember that you want to make sure that you do um, before you really, you know, really start put things together. So now we're going to create first. We have the home menu here. We're going to just create just the bare bones menus. We're not going to um, uh, really have anything up at this point because the site is still just blank. So what we want to do is you want to go back here on the menus and you go to the main menu. So right now we have the discussion. When you when we install the Easy Discuss by default, it autom automatically just and you know just add a menu for you. So let's refresh. Uh, when we refresh this homepage here, you notice that we have a discussions menu. And then once you click on it, it's going to take you to this. This is what the front end you know looks like. So we already have the discussion. You can change that to forum, um, which we're going to do that in a second. So. The other pages that we want to have here, we have the home. We need to create an about us. So I'll click on new and then let's type type in about. You can put an about us or about, you know, either one doesn't matter. I'm just putting about us. And then where it says menu item type, you want to click on select. Now if you have some stuff, then you can be able to link this to those particular, you know, pages. But for now, since we don't have anything up there, we'll go to six system links. And we're going to put this as external URL. This is like a placeholder that we're going to change to something later. And then you want to just put in a hashtag. And then we haven't activated this titles yet. I'll go over that later. So once you've done that, you want to click on save and new. This is going to save what you created and give it the option to add a different one. And then we want to click on rooms. And then let's go over to the menu item type. So from the menu item type here, you want to just go to the same thing, the system links. You want to click on external and we're going to use this uh, format here and then you want to put in the hashtag and let's click on save and new. And the reason for this is that we just want to outline the menus that are going to be part of the site. So next we're going to put in the gallery and repeat the same process, save and new. And then let's put in the blog and then click again, save and new. And then one more, we're going to put in the contact. You go to contacts. Now, since this is a fresh install, we don't have any contacts yet. So when you click on select, there's nothing there. It's just blank and bare. So in this case, what you want to do is 
we're going to cancel this for now. Let's just click on cancel and let's go over to components, go to contact. You want to, uh, let's check out the categories first. So by default, we have a on categorized category. So let's just leave that there for now, but you can change that to whatever you want it to be. Uh, but you definitely need a cat in order for you to create contacts. You need to have a category is required. So you go to contacts and you click on new. And then this is where you can put in select the user that this is linked to. So this is the person that whenever they're contacted on the website, all the information, all the inquiries is going to go directly to them. So you want to make sure that you have some type of an email here for them, because if you don't have something, then it's going to, it's just not going to work. It needs to send an email somewhere. And then you can put in, you know, just a toll free, you know, a number here, whatever number that you want to put, you can put in a fax number, you can put in different things. That's pretty much up to you. And then you want to go over to where it says the form and just make sure that this is set to use global and then display. You click on the display format. You just want to click on plain. So set that to plain uh, and then just scroll down here. All this other stuff here is just additional stuff that if you want to add there, then you certainly can. But for now, I'm just going to leave those blank. Uh, you can put in your website name and other things. So you just click on save and close. Oh, you got to put in a name, contact us. So I'll click on save and close. Okay, so now let's go back to menus, to the main menu. Now that we've created a uh, contact, this is going to allow us to put uh, that information here. So let's go to con type in contact or contact us. And then go back to select and you want to click on the contact and you can choose single contacts. So now when you choose select, it's going to list the contact us that we just created. So all the emails are going to be directed to this person. And if you have, if you can create multiple contacts, so you have different departments, different people, you can definitely use that same process and create multiple categories or multiple contacts with different people. So uh, if you want to create someone for your manager, for, you know, applications, for sales, for whatever it is, so they can contact those departments. And then you want to click on save and close. And then we're just going to change this discussions. We're going to change that menu to forum. So I'll click on that and just change it to forms. You can leave that as it is, or you can keep, you know, you can change it. So let's change that. Okay. So now we're going to go back on the front end and see what we've got. So now we're at the front end of the site. We have the home forms about us, rooms, gallery, block, and contact, you know, for most websites, these are, core pages that you definitely need to have, especially for a hotel website. So you have the core pages that, you know, people are going to spend time on the most. Now I want to note too here is that you can change the organization of how the, uh, the, the menu is laid out. So if you want, wanted to say, let's move the forms, you wanted to move this over and you can drag it and put it just before the contact. Then once you refresh the page, you notice that the form, has been moved over here. So you can pretty much drag and drop and reorganize the menus however you want it to be. That's, that's also key uh, because research show that, you know, there's certain, the way that you, you list things, more like people are more likely to pay attention to the, like if you have listed a list of 10 items on the list, let's say for the menus, you have about, this is seven or whatever menus, more people would pay attention to the first two and then pay attention to the last two. Some, somehow, whatever is in the middle part, sometimes get you know it's not much attention paid to it. But in this instance, you know, since you don't have that many, it's okay. So all the menus have been set up, and um, everything seems to you know look pretty good. Let's move on to the next lesson.